Hey guys, Matt Whisper here. I'm um, doing a review on this little item here. This is the Midwest Critter Care. Um, with the holidays coming and people considering buying a pet rat for their kids for Christmas, um, this is something that I would recommend um, for your child along with their cage and their rat and all that other fun stuff. Um, this one was purchased for my six-year-old. I got this off Amazon. And the reason I got it is... Um, it's being used for guinea pigs, although it does have a setting for rats, and I'll get into that later. But I wanted her to take care of them since these are her pets. And although she has been taking care of them, um, sometimes she just needs a couple of reminders. And that's what this thing does. It has these interactive audio messages and these cute little animations. Let's see if I can show it. Oh, there you, you can barely see it. Here, honey, move your head real quick because you're in the light. you can see oh, my lighting's horrible but anyways oh there we go you can kind of see it there has the date and the time it has a place for the uh, animal's name and then it tells you their mood and you obviously want to make sure that your animal is always very happy so and throughout this whole thing it will have little interaction little animals um, teaches them how to care for their animal and keeps them on a schedule um, so you have an option of choosing the pet. You can do a rabbit, a hamster, a gerbil, a guinea pig, or they have what looks like either a mouse or a rat. Uh, one problem I do have with this is that it is made, or um, the way it works is it's acting as if you're caring for only one animal. For example, where it has to put the name, you're real limited on your space for that animal. Um, like I said, this one's being used for two guinea pigs. Let's see if we can sneak in here. Uh, we have this little black one, that's Meep. And then we have this one over here, that's Ginger. Um, but Meep and Ginger didn't fit on the line, so we just had to put Piggies. So it didn't even have enough room for the Piggies or Guinea Pigs or anything like that. So the space um, is kind of limited. Um, but otherwise, it's really good because you can put that in there. Not that that's the most important thing. For your schedules, you have the option of using the default setting, which has preset food, clean, play, and treat times that Midwest has put into this. Um, it goes, it, the feeding time, the cleaning time, and treat time all goes off at 3.30 p.m., and the play time's at 3 o'clock. That may work for a lot of people, and some people may want to customize a little bit differently, and that's when you can go into the custom settings. So, you can go through the timers, and you can set, for example, your... Uh, critters feeding time you have the option of three five and seven times per week I really hope you at least feed your animals once a day um, so obviously mine is set at seven times a week you have the option of putting in your feeding time if you're doing a custom time um, for us oh, there's a little interaction to the little guinea pig for us it's just more convenient to have the guinea pigs fed first thing in the morning and then again in the evening um, just Basically, just to check to make sure they still have food. Um, your cleaning time, you can set it for one, three, or five times a week, however often you want to clean the cage. Um, for the guinea pigs, we have it set for three times a week, and that's basically just to take the, the blanket that you see in the cage and then take that out and wash it and replace it with a clean, fresh one. Um, so that would be almost every other day. For playtime, you have the option of one, two, or three times per day. And again, that also has an alarm, so you can select what time. Um, ours is set to go off when um, my daughter is home from school, so she's obviously here to play with them. And then for treat time, it's the same thing. You have the option of um, setting when you want to do the treat time. And I believe the treat time is one time a day. I'm trying to find Doo -doo -doo on the here where it said the treat times. Okay, and it also has a vacation mode, so if you're going on vacation, you have somebody who's going to be watching animals and may not be able to stick to the same schedule you have set into your uh, monitor, it has a vacation mode on there. Um, so yeah, I mean, it takes three AA batteries, which isn't a lot. It was, this was really inexpensive. I think I paid eight bucks for it on Amazon. Not bad at all. It, it has been working really good. I haven't, other than today, deep cleaning the cage and like actually scrubbing out the bottom and stuff, 
I haven't had to do much in the way of taking care of these guinea pigs. My daughter's been doing it all because she's really sticking to it. She wants to make sure she always keeps this very happy mood status on here and obviously keeps her animals happy. So, what do you think of it, Shaylee? I think it's really healthy for the guinea pigs when they eat, and I think it's really healthy for them to get some exercise and play with other things. So, you think it's a good idea to have it because it makes sure that you take care of all those things, huh? Yeah. So, you're doing the best for your guinea pigs, huh? Mm -hmm. So, you think this would still be a good thing for somebody who's getting a pet rat, right? Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, all these settings are the same for rats. Um, most people... Uh, again, they keep more than one rat. Oh, here we go, another little interaction thing. Um, I was kind of hoping something was going to go off, but like, for example, if you were going here and just touch something. I'm too tired to play again. <laughs> we already mm -hmm. played with them, so we need to be clean. You already cleaned my cage today. So it has the reminders, and when these do go off at the, the times that you've set for them, or the times that you are set by the default, the little light goes off too. So even if we aren't in the room or we can't hear it because it does have a volume setting. Um, this is at the loudest, but um, it does have a little flashing light so that if you didn't hear the whole message because um, you were in the other room and it sounded distorted or whatever, you can come in here and see which light's flashing and you know what needs to be done at what time. So That was a good snack. <laughs> there we go. But anyway, so um, yeah, I, mean, I would definitely I'm suggest <laughs> I would definitely suggest this for anyone who's getting any Yay! <laughs> Any type of small animal for their kids, whether it's for Christmas or if it's just, you know, just if they already have animals. Hope they have many more. <laughs> if they already have animals and they just want to um, maybe give teach their kids a little bit more responsibility. Um, the packaging looks like this. So if you see it, it's like in the box, blah, 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 like that. It's by Midwest. You can probably go on their site and see some more about it. Get a little bit more information on the back. Ta -da. Child's rewarded with an audio message and animation, thanking them for their care and attention. It has the mood status, um, multicolor mood strip. A fun, rewarding, and simple way to care for your critter. Requires three AAA batteries, not included. And I think the Peggy's are happy. Look how happy the Peggy's are. Oh, for the back, um, this might be a question for some. On the back of this, it has these little bar things. But it does come with, um, I don't have them with me right now. But it does have these little um, stickers, little double-sided foam tape that you can put on the back if you are using it on a plastic or glass aquarium. Not that I would ever suggest that for a pet rat or a guinea pig or any other small animal. But if that's what you have or, you know, you're sticking it on a wall or a bookcase or something next to the cage, not necessarily keeping it on the cage itself. Um, this is being used for guinea pigs, so as far as the chew factor of what a rat could do to this, I don't really know. So maybe using the double-sided foam tape to attach it maybe on the wall next to the cage or um, whatever might be a good idea. Guinea pigs aren't really that destructive, so... That is the Critter Care uh, Monitor by Midwest. Um, definitely give it two thumbs up for taking care of. It does have its, you know, some things I dislike about it. One being the the name option it doesn't really allow you to do um, very long names and only lets you put in. It, it acts as if you're taking care of one animal, which most of the time you have more than one. Um, it would be nice if. <clears throat> for what was the other complaint I had about it? I was trying to think now. We've only had it for a couple of days, so I'm trying to think. There was something I disliked about it, and I can't remember now. Hmm. Yeah, I got that part. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, if I think of something, I'll put it in the comments below. But otherwise. I like it. I think it's a great idea, and I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Five minutes.